Well, on to this Thompson. This has been your number one for a while. The last time we talked, not only was this the only guitar that you had out with you, but you didn't even have a guitar tech. Yeah. <laughs> and now you got it you got it going on. You got my brother from another mother over there, Toby Bean. Oh, you know, you guys know each other. We have the same last name. Maybe we're related. I don't know. <laughs> Possibly related. Possibly. Yeah. Um, but I think the last time we talked, you had like a, like there was an under settle transducer or a couple of those on there. And then like a little, one of those mic, uh, like a lavalier style um, thing yeah. in the inside of that. But it looks like you've changed it up a little bit. Okay. So I'm not going to be able to remember the name of the microphone that's in here. I know it's a Shure, but it's a WB something or other. I'll figure it out. Oh, I see it now. Yeah. Okay. I'll figure it out for you so we can put it in the uh, copy so we, can, so we can get the right info. So, yeah, what I have here is, well, first of all, this is my Thompson. Gosh, when did I get this thing? 2016, I think. Maybe 2015, 2016. I don't know. Maybe. I really am not good with numbers or years and memory, but I got, got, got real good memory. It's just short. <laughs> um, but anyways, it's not 10 years old yet. So, but it's been through hell with me and sure. this guitar sounds the best to me plugged in with the pickup and this pickup's been in here since I got it. And it just, I've tried other guitars. I have plenty of guitars with, with the K and K and I will run it through the Grace DI just the same, but this guitar in particular, for a pickup, it sounds good. Yeah, which is hard to do, you know, anyone that's trying to mic an acoustic, it's hard to get an acoustic to sound like an acoustic a lot of times, you know? Yeah, so I really like the K&K &K on this guitar, and like I said, I've, I've tried other guitars, and every time I come back to this one, because it's Old Faithful. It's Get just that. home and in yeah. the neck, something about the neck is just really good for me. But yeah, um, I guess since I've seen you guys, you know, it's the same K and K pickup, but I, I don't know if I had this going on I last time. So. And also this might be new. I could be wrong, but what's that, yeah. what's that switch do? So I have the K and K transducers here under the bridge. And then I also have this K and K magnetic pickup. And the reason for that and this ugly thing that most people hate, we get a lot of hate mail about it. Um, uh, so I'll run it through an amp, you know, so like, but with this pickup, it won't, it sounds uh, really bad. And when the PA is on, it will just feed back, back immediately. Yeah. So I spent a couple years trying to figure out how to. You know, because I played metal and when I was a teenager and stuff. And there's a part of my guitar playing that I can't access when I'm just, you know, flat picking. Sure. So I pretty much, my whole thing is I just want to be able to access all of it. Like, I'm not just trying to play bluegrass. I'm not just trying to play one thing or another. I just like a lot of different music and I like the stuff that I grew up hearing. And I'd like to be able to soar into a rock and roll you know more like classic rock hendrix style oh. solo or something or like play black mountain rag you know at the drop of a hat just depending on what's going on you know um so before with like i said i was trying to figure out how to make an acoustic guitar sound decent with overdrive or distortion and the transducer pickup would not do it because it sure. just excites the top of the guitar too much um, and it will just feed back. And I used to use an amp and I used to use, I guess when I saw you guys, I was had a deluxe yeah, or something. Silver face, yeah. Wow, that was been a while. So I used the orange for a while <laughs> and I just pointed it backwards, just facing back there. Like just try to get it as far away from me as you can so that like it doesn't feed back, yeah. you know. So that I did that for a while. Um, but then I I think I really got turned on to it from my buddy Anders Beck from Green Sky Bluegrass. On his Dobro, he has a Lawler pickup. And he plays beard guitars. But um yeah, they put a Lawler pickup on it and then there's the regular, you know, Dobro cone transducers or whatever. And that's what he does. He switched over to the Lawler and then he goes, "Wow." And I'm like, "Holy shit." 
What if I used a magnetic pickup instead of a transducer? That's more like a Strat, man. It's more like an electric right. guitar pickup. So yeah, it works a lot better, you know? Um, Cause you can just... <laughs> Fun. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and then I can switch right back over and go right to... Or whatever, you know, or if I'm in a... Just whatever situation, you know, the situation is... Whatever it, happens. It moves around, man. <laughs> yeah, the situation moves yeah. around. Um, but yeah, so, so that's what this switch is. Um, this switch, when it's in this position, the down position, and I kind of just like will whack it, you know, or... I'll kind of be on the pickup and then put it back to the, you know, down position. Mm -hmm. um, so when it's down, it's on the transducer. When it's right here, it's kind of right in between. So it's just like an electric guitar, you know? And then up here, I have the magnetic pickup. So if ever you hear me, you know, soaring on the amp, I'm, I'm on this magnetic pickup. Um, and then also inside of here is this little sure... Um, microphone that i pretty much put right in here i tuck it behind this this x brace and just kind of it's like resting on the top of the guitar it's like right there uh. and it goes to my ears and it goes to out front of house um and that is uh this little guy right here uh -huh. so this pack actually powers the mic it gives it phantom oh um and yeah i had Dave Johnson scale, scale model, model guitars. Love, he d he love d Dave. Love yes. Dave. Dave Johnson, you're good, the man. Good guy. We love you, Dave. Thank you for taking care of all of my guitars throughout the years. And thank you for the beautiful compression fret job you just did on my 44 because it plays like butter now. And you're just the man. We love you. Yeah. Shout out Dave Johnson scale model guitars. Love that, dude. Um. What were we talking about? Oh yeah, the <laughs> microphone. The micro this so th yeah, this pack gives it phantom. So Dave sure. Johnson put this little he figured this stuff out. Well, actually, Andy Falco from the infamous string Pretty dusters, dusters, he sent me this um this microphone. Cause I, I was like taping a DPA mic yeah, in there or I remember whatever. When that was taped, yeah. And um he I saw something weird on his guitar. I was like, what are you doing? And so I actually he's the one who I learned this from andy falco interesting so yeah. i don't know who f maybe dr him and his crew drew and those guys but like yeah those guys are smart so that is an, a, a, a very interesting workaround for sure yeah to and, give the, you kinda all well, the and i'm wireless you know because right. otherwise i would have to have a cable to give this thing phantom um because it needs phantom but this pack will actually send phantom to this particular mic through this it's like a little mini yeah, it's like, tiny little. It's like it's a little like mini a, three prong. It looks, looks like a little XLR cable. Yeah. Um, but it powers the mic. Um, so yeah, that's that's the the rig. You know, the Frankensteined out guitar that has been with. It's been uh, recently. It was in a real bad accident, like at the airport or something. There was. Gotta love BNA. <laughs> oh. I mean, I I started just buying a seat like when I travel with any just for your yeah that makes when it, when I travel with any guitar that I care about I just started and it sucks that you know I used to do like the early bird I guess the one thing you can try is to get on Southwest and get early bird so that you're in the A group and stuff but I think everybody is kind of even catching on to that so it's it can be a bust and they're yeah I don't know either way. I just don't get on the plane if they tell me I can't bring it on. But somebody did. I don't know who it was. Somebody on my crew, probably. Huh. One of these guys. <laughs> no, I, it's it's okay. They they. Oh my gosh. But it got. It Either got pissed. way, yeah. something. You know, somebody let them take it, and it came out smashed. I mean, oh. this was all. You can see this whole thing was crunched in right Holy there. Crap. And again, Dave Johnson. 
he fucking put this thing back together like Humpty Dumpty's, you know. <laughs> and this was all bashed in, this huge crack. And this was like completely smushed in because it got caught between an elevator. It was like, uh, like some elevator thing, right some hydraulic fucking lifter thing. It got crunched in a cotton case. The, it was fucking destroyed. Like, it was insane. Dave's a wizard. Do you notice any tonal differences since you got it back? Or is it pretty much the same? It's pretty much the same, like... I mean, even just, like, acoustically... It's yeah. really nice and loud. It projects well. It's just a good guitar, yeah. even with its uh, bumps and bruises. And I think that, you know, gives it character and... As, as pissed off as I was when it happened, it kind of, it's a little bit charming to me now in yeah. a way. It's like this thing's been through hell. It earned it, you know? Yeah, yeah, well, and man, I've played a lot of gigs on this guitar. Yeah. Like, not a thousand, but close to. I bet you're getting close. Yeah. And so. Yeah. I love this whole thing, you know? And, man, I love it too. It sounds incredible. Yeah. So the last time we talked, this was the only guitar that you had with you, which I think is personally kind of ballsy in your situation because you tour full time. But now you actually have a tech and you actually have some other guitars out with you. You want to talk about some of those as well? Sure. All right, cool. Okay, so tell me about this. This is another Thompson, right? Right. Yeah, this is... So once I had, uh, I guess what I started calling Frankenstein because of all of the pickups and, you know, this thing sticking out of, you know, it's like, looks like Frankenstein with all this bullshit on there so i started calling that guitar you know the frankenstein guitar and then <laughs> i wanted to have another one built exactly like it from thompson uh so that i could do the same thing with it you know basically just have a, a, a backup a sure. spare in case i break a string or maybe you know whatever so i had him build this one um it's the same it's brazilian rosewood back and sides and um they did this really cool like Cool burst, yeah. Gray looking sunburst. Well, because this is the bride of Frankenstein, right. too. This I love that. That is so cool. So I have the Frankenstein guitar and then the I have here the few, bride. Yeah. Yeah. That's um, awesome. They killed it, man. That's beautiful. And so this one is, it's really similar to the other one. I usually use this one on like a lower tuning like that, like if I'm playing home. You know, like, uh, this is the guitar that I'll use for that. Yeah, I mean, that's beautiful. Um, but she's a nice one. Pretty much the same pickup situation. Exactly the same, one. yep. The microphone, the K&K &K transducer, oh, yeah. um, magnetic, the Shure mic. Same exact thing going on. Very cool. Right on. Right. Bit, what yeah, else you got gotta going get on? a look at that. Uh, oh, I'm gonna definitely gonna shoot a photo of that. <laughs> yeah, man, that the little inlay there, she's, she's cool. Like, she's awesome. They killed that. Yeah.